Now to the latest on the investigation into the Pulse nightclub massacre. Today, Noor Salman, the widow of the terrorist, went before a federal judge to hear the charges against her, failing to stop a terrorist attack and misleading investigators, specifically Fort Pierce police. News Channel 5's Wanda Moore is live now in Fort Pierce with what police there are saying today. Wanda. Kelly, the indictment claims that Nora Salman misled the Fort Police, Fort, Fort Police uh, Department the day of the attack. In doing so, prosecutors argue she prevented investigators from getting necessary information about the attack. Now, police would not comment specifically about this investigation since the FBI took over. The question on everyone's mind remains, could Salman have prevented this attack from happening? Federal prosecutors argued in court today that Noor Salman knowingly helped her husband support ISIS, that she knew about her husband's plan of attack at Pulse and did nothing to stop him. Her family claims that's not true, that Salman is innocent. Did she know about the attack? No, she doesn't know. Investigators say Salman became a person of interest after telling federal agents she was with her husband when he bought ammunition and was with him when they drove past Pulse nightclub. She's an innocent, simple person. She will not hurt the flight. Salman's uncle says she was sleeping when the attack happened and had no idea. Her mother-in-law called her, wake her up early in the morning. She said, where's Omar? Because she expects Omar. She said, he's not here. Let me call him. She texted her husband, where are you? He replies, do you see what's happening? No, she says. He answers, I love you, babe. As she is facing a maximum penalty of life in prison. And what, what, that's what she knows. Her family says she is innocent. Meanwhile, their four-year-old son is with family. Salman claimed in the past that her husband beat her repeatedly. Her lawyer now claiming that it is simply misguided and wrong to prosecute her. Reporting live, live in Fort Pierce, Wanda Moore, WPTV News Channel 5. Late this afternoon, the city of Orlando released hundreds more photos from its investigation into the Pulse shooting. None of the images shows people killed or wounded in the club. Florida law exempts photos of the dead from public record. This picture shows the holes officers made in the exterior walls at 5 a.m., hoping to draw out the gunman and rescue survivors who were trapped in the bathroom for more than three hours. This picture shows the blood inside an Orlando police officer's helmet. The Kevlar saved his life when it stopped a bullet during the final shootout.